DEET is a build tool that can be used as an alternative for the Vue CLI. It mainly consists of two parts. A no-bundle server that serves source files over native ES modules, and a pre-configured roll-up-based production bundler that produces highly optimized builds. DEET also provides us with a better and faster development experience because of features like instant server start, super-fast hot module replacement and out-of-the-box support for TypeScript. Scaffolding a new project is similar to how we do it with the Vue CLI, but the process is much simpler. To create a new project, we use the command npm create vt at latest. Next you'll need to choose a name for your project. If the name has multiple words, use kebab case. We'll choose Vue for our framework. For the variant, we'll choose customize with create Vue. The command will install and execute create Vue, which is Vue's new scaffolding tool. If it's your first time using Vite, it'll ask you to install an additional package. Without it, you won't be able to create a project, so choose yes. Vite will give us some options of what we want to include in our project. We don't want TypeScript, JSX, or the router. Pina is basically the next version of Vuex. We'll cover it after the script setup lesson, so we'll add it. Vtest is a testing library that can replace Jest. We'll skip ESLint for this example but you typically add it to your project. Once the project's been generated, we'll need to install its dependencies. CD into your project, then run npm install. Once the installation has finished, we can run the dev server with npm run dev. Alternatively, we can open the project in VS Code with code, space, period. From there, We'll use the built-in terminal and say npm run dev. If we open the local server address in the browser, we'll see that Vue created a nice landing page for us with some links to useful resources. Create Vue is Vue's new scaffolding tool that's meant to replace the CLI. Create Vue uses Vue behind the scenes and because of that, it can use Vue and roll-up plugins. To scaffold a new project, we run npm create view at 3. From there, it works the same as Vite and asks you to choose various options to add to the project. Once the installation has finished, you'll need to install the project's dependencies. And to run the development server, we use the same command as with Vite. It should be noted that Vite uses the new script setup, which we're going to cover in the next lesson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.